Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video today. Today guys, we are going to understand how we can import our own custom images in an Android project. Before I start with the video guys, just want to request you that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications or more such programming and coding related videos. And let's get started now. So basically guys, as you can see on my screen, there is a dice roller uh, small game which we created in our past videos. If you have not seen those videos guys, you can definitely go and refer them in which I show you how you can create this project from, from the scratch. But basically guys, in this video, we are just going to understand that how we can actually use our own images, our own custom images in this Android project. First of all, let's understand where this dice image came from. So in, in this project, you can see guys that I have got a drawable folder in my code. And basically in this drawable folder, if I see the design of this drawable folder uh, images, there are basically XML files. And these XML files are actually vector uh, code. Okay, it's a, it's a vector asset, which is sort of an XML of how you can create an image. So if you... If you see the design of it, it looks like a dice, but in code, it is sort of an XML, okay? So, what we can do, guys, uh, you can just keep these vector assets in your drawable folder and your, in your activity main, uh, main.xml file, you can simply refer them by their name. So, you can see that I can simply refer them by dice1, dice2, whatever the name of the XML file is. So that is a vector asset guys. Obviously, if you already have such asset in and you just want to include it in your uh, folder, then you can simply click on vector asset here and you can then choose a local SVG file. So SVG file is a vector image file guys, which is like an XML, but it is just having uh, all this code to generate an image. Okay. However, guys, most of us don't really understand this XML sort of imaging, okay? We just know that we have got our JPG file, we have got our PNG files, we have got our icons, we have got our GIF files. That's the only thing we understand. We don't understand this sort of code. And actually, we don't really have to because the easiest way to import a file in Android is just take that file. So, for example, in my case, I will just take this clip art file. I'll come to my Android code and I'm just going to paste it here. Now in my app, I'm just going to select the main drawable folder. I'm not going to select the subfolders like HDPI, MDPI because for me, let's assume that I only want this particular image in every single resolution. I don't want to change the size of this image in different resolutions. I'm just going to click OK. And now you can see guys that I've got this PNG file. And this PNG file <coughs> looks like this. And the easiest way to actually use the images is just drawable slash. And then once you start typing the name, the name of your file, it will actually appear in your code. Okay. So this is the easiest way you can import any file, any image. Okay. Another thing, icons. So if guys, you want to actually use some images as icons, then there is another way you can use it. Okay? image asset when you click on image asset there is an icon type drop down which is given to you now remember guys the tv banners and tv channel icons even if you select them they will not appear if you have chosen a mobile project so in my case i have chosen a mobile project so my emulator is also a mobile emulator so i can only select action bar and tab icons and once you select that then whatever image you will select so for example in my case, I am actually selecting a tree image. So this clip art is actually a image of a tree and it has all the colors and everything. But because I have selected a action bar and tab icon, it is going to take that image and it is going to just uh, convert it into a light theme. Uh, so in this case, it's a hollow light theme. I can use the hollow dark theme also in which uh, it is going to appear white. Or I can use a custom theme also in which it will just take the silhouette of my image and it is just going to color it with a custom color. Okay. Now if I select on next and if I select on finish, what you will see that this particular image is actually rendered into multiple resolutions. So 
in my case the hd resolution the mdpi resolution and all the resolutions it is rendered and i can actually use this icon in my activity main.xml or through my code all i have to do is write ic underscore tree underscore name now if you have got a mobile with a bigger resolution you will see the bigger icon image if you have got uh you know an, a device with a smaller resolution you will see a smaller image obviously you can reduce the size of the icon also just by these resizing options in your code so if i just run my uh, let's if i just run my code guys then you will see the difference i will also have to change my main dot uh, main activity because actually the code of displaying the dice is there so let's say if one to six uh, randomly a number is selected so if one is selected i am displaying a tree and if two is selected then i am displaying a clip part of a uh, super lazy coder icon okay and let's delete all the other things uh, let's delete all the other things uh, let's add some tree names or some clip art names okay so let's run this code guys let's see if the image actually appears in our emulator code or not right now it was a dice and now it should be either a clip art or it should be either a tree icon so it says the launch is succeeded let's roll the dice so you can see guys the dice is rolled and if i continue to change it you can see that sometimes the clip art image of the super lazy coder icon appears or sometimes a tree appears so this is how guys you can use images in your code all you have to do is take the image put it in your drawable folder and then you can just use the name of the image at at the redrawable or r dot drawable and just use it in your code okay so that was a video how you can use and import the images in your Android project and use them as efficiently as you can. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope this video was informative for you. If it was, then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. Please do subscribe to my channel guys and hit the bell icon for future notifications and more such programming related videos. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback for me, write down in the comment section below. I would be happy to address it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.